Alright guys, this video is going to be entirely about unlocking every single survivor in Risk of Rain 2. This unlock guide goes all the way up to Acrid, so it's current for the current version of Risk of Rain 2. For the first couple of characters, I'm not going to show any gameplay clips because literally all you have to do is play the game normally to get these characters, so there's no point in showing you how to do it as they really don't get unlocked by any certain challenge. Alright, starting out with Commando, he's unlocked as soon as you purchase the game. You have to do nothing special, he's the first survivor you have unlocked. Next up we have the Huntress, which is unlocked by completing the third teleporter event without dying. Again, this comes just by playing the game, so not very difficult. Multi is complete the first teleporter event five times. So if you really were intent on playing multi, you would complete the teleporter event, go through the teleporter, restart your game, and do that five times, and you'd have multi unlocked. For the Engineer, all you have to do is complete 30 stages total. You do not have to play all of these 30 stages in one run, it's just total over all of your runs. Alright, now we start getting into a little bit more complex challenges to unlock survivors. To unlock the Artificer, you need to free her from the Bazaar Between Time. This will cost you at maximum 11 Lunar Coins, but you can make buy with only 10 Lunar Coins if a blue teleporter spawns naturally. Basically what you need to do is take a blue teleporter, then go into the bazaar between times, and then to the right of the newt will be the artificer trapped in ice. Pay 10 lunar coins and you will be able to unlock her. If you do not have 10 lunar coins, then you can check out my other video where I show you how to get a bunch of lunar coins. Alright, now to unlock the mercenary, you are going to have to obliterate yourself at the obelisk. This is also the same way to get mastery skins and also another way to farm lunar coins as you get 5 lunar coins every time you do this. Keep in mind obliterating yourself does end your run prematurely so if you don't want to end the run don't obliterate yourself. Alright so the way to do this you have to get to stage 8 I believe now and a celestial portal will spawn. Now don't take the teleporter, take the celestial portal. Then once you enter the celestial portal you're going to be teleported to some random world that looks kind of like a parkour map. Just jump along the stones as you go and then there will be a obelisk at the end of this parkour trial. Go up to the obelisk, press obliterate, press obliterate again, and you will die and have the mercenary unlocked. Alright, next up we have Rex, which is a pretty difficult one to do, not gonna lie. Also, this one can't be done on multi or acrid as you need the little pod to spawn to get the item to unlock rex so don't play multi and don't play acrid all right as soon as you spawn in the game go around the little rocket pod that you spawned in and click it to open the back then click it again to get the fuel cell now this fuel cell will instantly kill you if you go beneath 50 percent health so never reach below 50 percent health or you will die now you need to take this fuel cell all the way to stage 4 on the Abyssal Deaths map. If you get unlucky and get Siren's Call, well, you're gonna have to somehow make it to Abyssal Deaths with this insta-kill 50% health thing on your back. Anyway, once you get to Abyssal Deaths, you are going to hop up to the first platform, then use the air vent to the second platform, and then take a right. On that platform, there will be a little robot thing, and that's Rex. Just plug the fuel cell in, and you will have Rex unlocked. Now, for Loader and Acrid, I already have two videos showing you how to do those. I'll link them in the right. However, I'll go over them right here, right now. For Loader, all you have to do is kill the Allied Warship Unit on Stage 4, Siren's Call. That requires you to kill all of the eggs until the Allied Warship Unit spawns, and then kill him. He's pretty difficult, and he's the highest ceiling boss in the game, along with Aurelian Knight, which means they do a lot of damage and have a lot of health. But, the allied warship unit does drop a guaranteed legendary every time you kill it. It'll be at the center platform where it spawns, so make sure to pick that up whenever you get it. Alright, next for Acrid, this is the final survivor you need to unlock. You need to complete the Void Fields Challenge, which requires you to go to the Void Fields and complete the challenge. To get there, you need to go to the Bazaar Between Worlds, which you've already been here if you've unlocked Artificer. Then you need to jump down behind the portal that you just came in. There will be a little hole when you're falling down. Enter that hole, then there will be another portal that's purple, and this will lead you to the Void Fields. Now, once you're there at the Void Fields, you have to charge these Null Field things, and you'll have to stay in the circle. It's just like a teleporter event. There are several of them that you need to complete, and when you complete each one, you get an item. Complete all of them, and you will have Acrid unlocked. 
You can do this at any point in the game, but I recommend that you do it super early. If you wait too long, then it starts spawning bosses as the enemies, and then the enemies also get items as the uh, void fields progress. Do this as early as possible, I'd do it stage 1 if I could. So anyway, that's how you unlock every single survivor in Risk of Rain 2. There is only one survivor left in Risk of Rain 2 that has not been created yet, so wait till that comes out and there will be another video. <laughs> See you later.